he has no place to go, he might as well go ahead and try his best to take the lead. Because if he, right now, if he backs up, watch all these cars. Go, a spin, Chuck Bowne is involved in number four. Chuck Bowne right in the middle of the racetrack, head in the wrong direction. I believe that Morgan Shepard may have been involved in that crash also, Benny. Yes, Morgan Shepard did make contact with Chuck Bowne as he came off the corner. We don't see a lot of damage to the left side of the car, but, ooh, the right front tire is flat. That sure brand is. new tire he put on just a few laps ago. So that time they spent in the pits putting on all four new tires is for naught because I think both of them on the right side are flat as he makes contact with Morgan Shepard in turn number four, spins around and now hits for the pit area. Well, you know, we talked to Jeff Hensley, the crew chief on the car. He felt like, and we see the left rear tire also flat on the yeah. car. So I don't know, that might have caused the spin initially. All right, let's take a look at it. Watch uh, here in the left of your screen. I see why the left rear is flat, because he made contact with Elton Sawyer in the white 67, and that's what spun him initially, and we see Morgan Shepard come along and pretty good lick in the right front of that car. Yeah, Morgan's car has to be pretty badly damaged, too, especially in the left front, as he took a pretty good shot from Chuck Bound. I was talking about Jeff Hensley felt that they, you know, they changed four tires. They thought it was perfect strategy. What it did was get him back in the middle of the pack, and this is the end result. That's he's trying to right now. He's trying to stay out, catch up with the field before he can go in the pits and again change the two tires that's flat. He can't change the other two tires. He can only change the tires that are flat. Dave Despain will be there to see how this procedure goes. Chuck Bound's season has certainly been up and down. He's the only man to win three races this year. It's going to be tough to win this one after having to go to the right side and change the flat tire first on the right front. I'll tell you, that left rear is also flat, and as I interpret the rules, he should be allowed to change that one as well. This should be a three-tire stop for Bound, which is pretty unusual. They will not change the flat left rear. They're going to try to get him out and keep him on the same lap. He's back out there with a flat tire on the left rear. Yeah, He's going to make it and not lose a lap. And, of course, he'll just drive around, come in again, get the next tire changed, and uh, hopefully going to stay on the lead lap. Well, I saw that right rear tire. I thought the rear end housing was bent. Yeah, right. it did look like it, didn't it? There's the 97 car. 67. Uh, or 67, rather, of uh, Elton Sawyer in for a stop. They're changing tires on the right side of that machine. That's the fellow that hit the right front. His right front hit the left rear and caused this flat on Chuck Bounds' car. Bound will come in once again, and now they'll change the left rear on that race car. Just an observation here, an observation as we wait for Bound to return on this whole business of tires. He's in. Let's check and make sure that this uh, stop is routine, as routine as it can be under the circumstances. They won't do anything but get that tire changed quickly and try to get him back out. Again, they are allowed to change the tire and under the... Uh, yellow flag precaution rule. Uh, NASCAR doing their best to conserve the tires again. The race is back to the racetrack. Oh, and he almost got clipped as he heads back out, but again, saved his lap. That's good work. They did their thing. Now, quick point about the tires. The crew chief for David Green, Gil Martin, I asked him why they stayed out instead of taking that last yellow. He said, hey, if the tires won't last the first half of the race, they're not going to last the second half. We'll wait till the halfway point, then make our stop. Benny, this is good old fashion